NFL <laughs> Network analyst Sean. <laughs> no, don't, John. <laughs> you don't. You don't have to do all that. Sean, we're asking our one big question to our listeners: Is I'm watching the NFL yesterday, and it's my first time being able to be on the couch because the Chargers had the bye week, and I'm looking around at all the fights, the potato sack races, a lack of effort in some cases, and I'm thinking, God, the NFL looks a little bit rudderless right now. Do you see it the same way or no? Yeah, I, it, it's the world is upside down right now in the NFL. Uh, I mean, it, it's crazy the the the, the fighting, the ejections, uh, you know that. I, I I mean, I can't believe you normally maybe see that throughout the course of the entire season, but to have that many happen on one week was pretty crazy. Um, when you look around at the injuries too, and and the amount of superstars that that we have lost this year alone due to injury, that's unbelievable. Um, how about this? You, you look at some of the teams that that won, and I mean teams that 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 their quarterbacks are throwing for less than 200 yards, and yet they're still finding ways to win games. Uh, the defensive touchdowns have been unbelievable, and it's pretty crazy. Uh, I saw a third and 33 get converted for a touchdown. You know, it's uh, it's bizarre world right now. Sean, uh, 11 and five last year for the New York Giants. So for them to be where they are this year, and the way in which they've lost and lost uh, yesterday, I know that you've probably been discussing this ad nauseum. But where would you begin? Where's at the top of the list for them to be where they were last year to where they are now? Well, it's pretty remarkable that to me they came into this season offensively saying, "Oh yeah, hey, we're a lot better. You know, we we we're going to be much better." in the areas that we were not good in last year. They were not good, and they haven't been good for a number of years, at running the football. They haven't been very good in situational football. And, and you know this, Nick. You look, third and one is different than any other run play. Goal line and short yardage situations, they've been awful at. Four-minute offense, they've been awful at. So what did they do? Well, they drafted a receiving tight end in Evan Ingram, and they brought in Brandon Marshall, who was a big receiver. They didn't bring those guys in to block in the run game. They brought them in to catch passes there's a number of things offensively that have, have crept up but I, Jerry Reese earlier this year talked about we all bought into the hype it's your job as the GM and the coaches to, to ignore all that and, and to not let your team believe in that uh, coach Coughlin always had a you know some sayings and quotes like a lot of coaches do that are up on on the walls and the team meeting rooms and in the hallways and you know some of it was you know, one of them that always stuck with me was if you're still talking about what you did yesterday, you haven't done much today. And one of the things he always preached to us was success is sometimes harder to handle than failure. The Giants, you mentioned 11 to five last year. They walked into this season, you know, like Conor McGregor uh, throwing their arms out, talking about, yeah, we're going to be, you know, we're, we're going to be headed to the Super Bowl because our defense played great last year, and and frankly, their defense bailed them out. Um, offensively last year so I, I think you look at you look at the offense the fact that they're not very physical on offense you've got to be able to pound the rock and and win the battle of the line of scrimmage when the game is on the line and when it matters most they can't do that I think the most disappointing unit this year though has been the defense and, and that to me it, it's all about effort it's not about talent Sean thank you for the time we appreciate it great work as always and good catching up with you bud all right, gents, uh, let me know when the sun comes up out there. <laughs> it's already up. Daylight saving time. Beautiful.